How's everybody doing? This is Brent from Adventure Time RC again. Oh, yesterday, oh, when we did build part one, we completed the chassis, the four links, and the transmission gearbox. Then we also did this front axle assembly here, and there's something I wanted to point out. In the instructions here, it has us put in these four number one screws, or number two screws and then when you get down to the next step you have to remove those four screws to put this brace on for your your springs and your four links so if you are doing this model at home I would suggest just putting a screw or two in to hold it in place or just throwing this cap right on it from the get-go so uh, from here on out, I'll probably look a little further ahead in the instructions. That way I don't have to remove screws and do things twice. But all right, uh, today we're going to start back off with the axle and put our links together and our servo control, and we're going to start there. All right.
see at this point. I was beginning to wonder when the motor would come into play. But nowhere that I've seen so far as it made mention of it. So I got looking, and you can kind of see the shadow shape of the motor coming out of the back here. But nowhere does it tell you to install the motor into the transfer case. So, double back and I've removed the transfer case. And from what I can tell, I believe the motor just pops inside there. There's really no clear instructions on it, so I'm just going to grease it up and pop it in there and see how it goes.